Hi friends, today we're going to do a unboxing of the iPad Pro 2024 generation as well as the second generation Apple Pencil and I'll also show you the case and keyboard that I picked out for it. Now this one is the 12.9 inch and 256 gigabyte model. I'm super excited to use this because as a digital artist I thought I would upgrade and get something that is a standalone device and iPad Pros are supposed to be the very best for this kind of thing so I'm super excited to test it out. There will be links to all the stuff I'm going to show you today in the description below. Let's start out by unboxing our iPad Pro. Looks like we pull this tab here first. Oh, exciting. I'm gonna open it. All right, here's the actual iPad. It's so thin. It's thinner than I expected. Looks like a really good size though. All right, should we peel this off? There is our iPad Pro. Got our manual. iPad Pro. Apple stickers. And of course our charging cable and attachment. And this is just the box. Okay. Don't need this. Well, maybe we do. All right, next thing we're gonna open up here is the Apple Pencil second gen. Cool, we got the manual here and the pencil itself. Feels like a real pencil, just maybe slightly heavier. Pencil! Now, one of the things I've been excited to try is making the pencil stick to the side. Oh! Through the magnet. Whoa! That's so cool. Okay, let's see about turning on our iPad. Here we go. It's starting up. It says hello. We're gonna swipe up, pick English, Canada. So this is cool, it's got face ID, so I think we should try this out. Oh, I see. <laughs> and we're just going through some setup. This is the Moco case. What I'll do is I'll put a link to this case in the description below. It comes in a few different colors, black, navy, and this rose gold. Obviously, I had to pick rose gold. It's got a felt inside. This is kind of a rubbery uh, plastic. It has a clear window on the back so that when we have the iPad in there, we'll actually be able to see the Apple logo, which is kind of nice. Also felt that this had some decent protective uh, features on the sides of it, trying to keep out things like dust and, you know, for those dreaded, uh, you know, drops that, of course, I'll never ever do. Never drop it. <laughs> All right, but we do need to peel this off. All right, we got it in the case. This looks super cool from the back. You can see that logo. It even has a place for our pencil to go in. Right here. Something really cool about this case is it can be a stand as well. Lift this part up and there's these ridges to catch that part of the stand. All right, and now it stands up. Now we can close this up 
and it's all in there together. Looks like the pencil charges by actually attaching to the iPad Pro. It says, welcome to Apple Pencil. We're gonna test this out. All right, looks like our pencil is working and connected. That was super easy. It's working. All right, we got our Clip Studio Paint app set up. Let's see if we can test it out. Appears to be working. This is really cool. And now we can make all the art. Like trees. The last thing we're gonna unbox here is the Amoton keyboard. And again, I'll have a link to this in the description so you can see it. This comes in a few different colors. The one I picked out is actually rose gold as well. And uh, it also comes in white, gray, and black. There are some goodies inside the bag as well. This here is the keyboard. It's quite thin. It does not come with a battery, so we'll have to get one of those. Looks like you can register and get a lifetime warranty on this guy. Luckily, I had some batteries handy. Switch it on. All right, we're gonna try and connect these. All right, it shows our keyboard is connected. Let's test and type on it. We're gonna type hello, hello, testing, testing. And you can see that it worked. Overall, I'd say some of my first impressions of the iPad Pro 4th Gen 2020 is that it is super easy to set up. It looks really nice. I like the size. Ultimately, I think it's gonna be really great for my purposes. Looking forward to getting used to it and trying it out some more. If you're interested in purchasing any of the stuff I showed you today, you can use the links in my description below. That really helps me out a lot because I get a commission for it and it costs you the same. I make digital art tutorials on my channel as well as other art related videos, so be sure to like and subscribe. I hope you guys have an awesome day and thank you for watching. Bye.